Welcome to Beyond the Horizon podcast, a show all about the Horizon ecosystem and the exciting world of blockchain and Web3. Join us as we explore the latest happenings in this rapidly evolving space and discover new horizons together. Now let's go Beyond the Horizon. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome again to our Eon launch series. Uh, I'm super excited to be here today. We've been um, on, in this ongoing conversations, talking to partners, talking to, to people uh, for the exciting launch of Eon. So for those of you who are joining the call that may or may not know me, my name is Angie. I'm one of the project managers at Horizon. I couldn't be more happy. We've been having such amazing conversations with uh, Eon ecosystem partners for the Eon launch. And as you may know, Eon is our EVM uh, compatible sidechain. So we couldn't be more excited today to be here, to just be running this series of interviews with amazing, amazing people and partners. Um, today, I'm super excited to be welcoming Shiv. He's product manager at Tatum. Uh, Tatum SDK offers developers everything they need to build their Web3 um, applications in their platform. So welcome, Shiv. And if you would like to introduce yourself, please. Sure. Thanks, Angie, for having me. I've been in the crypto space since uh, 20 2017. I started as an Ethereum miner, then I got interested into tech, and uh, I started as a hobby developer, also as doing freelancing. Then I started working in the developer tooling company as well, as when I was the developer in uh, Web3 space, I kind of experienced this thing that the developer developer experience in Web3 or any new tech compared to something which has been existing in the industry like web dev or mobile application is much bad. Like, I mean, Web3 experience was too bad. So that's that's where I got excited into dev tooling. I started my professional career in a dev tooling company and start of this year, I joined Tatum, which is another amazing Web3 dev tooling company out there. So I'm working in Tatum as a product manager. That's That's about me. Amazing, amazing. You know, it's it's funny because it, we all have, I think, our our memories of when we got into crypto. Exactly. It in this in this case for me it was 2016, so That's it was just a little bit before you. And I think there's a before and after of all of us, right? Uh, in this like crypto journey, it's always I and I find this always exciting uh, to share with partners and people like the things that we've been doing in the ecosystem, how the ecosystem has grown. Exactly. Each year is different. Each year it's just. Um, always fun, always dynamic, it's sometimes chaotic, um, but I think it's always fun. So I'm super excited to get to know a little bit more about what is it that you guys do at Tatum? Like tell the audience, for example, the services that you provide, what is it that you guys focus on? Yeah, so Tatum is a developer tooling company. We have this end-to-end -end development SDK, which any developer can use to build any kinds of application that they want. For example, I'll take a game application. I mean, like game is something that we all enjoy playing and I, I hope developers enjoy building as well. And we kind of try to make that uh, experience of a developer developing a game in Web3 more smooth. So let's let's take an example of a game where you have this uh, fighting simulation game, you need a sword or something like that, right? So imagine you already know how to build that in a Web2 environment, maybe use Unity, maybe use some another game engine and all that, and you have your game set up done. Now, what you want to do in a Web3 uh, world is maybe like have the game assets as NFTs or maybe some tokens that could be maybe sold bound to some specific players as well so that that can't be traded or some some logics like that right so let's say when you want to build features like that let's say when you want to log in your users with web3 right when you want to fetch all the balances transactions or all the nfts that they have in the games and stuff you can use Tatum sdk for that so you can log in your user you can fetch all their on-chain data to now make the experience like that let's say i've never played your game and then i just bought a nft for a sword on a marketplace and then i should be on the level four so you can fetch all this data to provide this custom experience for your uh, users and then you can also set up notifications which is like on-chain webhooks that we send to your backend system let's say if i buy another sword which is more powerful than the current sword right in a web2 world it's, it's very simple you just update in the database and it's done but in Web3 world, when this transaction happens on chain, you need to be aware of that, right? So Tatum will send you a notification that this has happened and you get to know about as well. So in short, we, we cover all the end-to-end -end functionalities that you would need to build any kind of user-facing application, be it game, be it NFT marketplace, be it ticketing system or anything. I see, I see. No, that's great. So, okay, it's for, let's say, viewers that they would like to know more. So I... I the way I see it is, is this like real, let's say, connection between 
let's say ga- a game, which is a which is a, something that it's pretty common out there, and like how how really make it work three? Like how can you guys like really enable? Yep with these tools that you provide, right? Let's say via the SDK. Yep. Um, are you are you are you guys focused? Uh, is it more focused towards developer or is it more focused towards the end user? Or is it both? So that's that's more our product is more focused to a developer, right? So let's say you are a web two developer, you know you you know how to make your web two application. Or let's say you are even a mobile application developer or a game developer on consoles, etc. Right? Like you know how to make that specific part. We provide the Web3 functionalities via the SDK. We also had a API earlier, which could be used to build uh, these Web3 features, right? So we kind of built these Lego blocks for Web3 f- functionality that you could use from us and make your Web2 app or your uh, normal, let's say Android or in- any other app in- into a Web3 app, right? And we have a SDK currently in JavaScript that anyone can use and start developing. I see. Perfect. Perfect. No, that's that's amazing. Um, so, Shiv, how how is it? Uh, let's say, what is it that you are excited in the next uh, coming months, or let's say for the end of the year? Is there anything that you would like to share with the community, with folks? Maybe I don't know some sneak peek towards twenty twenty four. So, uh, here's I would uh, say our upcoming roadmap for the next quarters or maybe next years look like. So. If I have to put this in a nice way, so we, we can say that Datum offers all the different pieces of the puzzles that you could use to create a nice picture, right? So currently that's that's the thing that we are doing. And that's 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 the most thing that anyone would need at the start of any new tech, right? The next step that I kind of think is like, imagine a picture of a nice uh, Switzerland, uh, uh, Switzerland hills, right? So now you have all those small thousand pieces of the puzzles already that you can use to make that picture. Next step could be to make the components of the picture, right? Like if, if we talk technically, let's say you can use Stratum SDK to build this NFT gating websites and authentication and all that, right? Next step could be we just give you a small React component or something like that, and you can just replicate a f- specific feature. Like let's say if you want to build a portfolio app, right? And there is a full page of a portfolio functionality which fetches tokens, NFTs, and all that. Currently, you will use all the different functionalities of the SDK to make that. But next step could be to have that as a boilerplate or maybe have that as a UI library. So that's that's something that we also have in our roadmap and we are excited to ship that. I'm quite sure that will cut down the development time for most of the developers out there. So we're excited for that. Nice, nice. Um, so Shiv, tell us a little bit about, let's say, like more like from your role perspective, like being a product manager, maybe I think there's something you would like to share out there with folks that are also very passionate and maybe want to get involved in this in this ecosystem in this world are there any i don't know insights advice um things that get you excited because i i think we've all been and i and i find this very very interesting like for example for us with horizon and now with the launch of eon we are also providing let's say the infrastructure the network the tools and this is the exact reason why we're having strategic partners to help us because we we know that we can't just provide everything and it's not one size fits all uh and just like let's say you have a blockchain and that's it that's yeah. it that's everything you need for web3 we know that there is different components right different layers of tools and 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 things that people can use to access the network but um and i'm interested because and for example for us it's 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 the same like we are aware that we need to work and really let's say um as you mentioned i think i like that in sample like putting all the pieces together to make something that it's useful yeah. and also that for developers or end users can can access in an in an easy way so tell us a little bit about that. Like, and is there anything that you would like to share with the community uh, that gets you excited with your role and the things you're doing? Yeah, so not really from the role of the product manager, but maybe what I would share is from my experience as a developer, right? So as you already shared, like, uh, it's it's not just about like how Horizon takes it as well, which is a very great approach that it's not just about the chain. You also need to think about the dev tooling that people will need to build on the chain and all that stuff, right? So I've been in the developers shoes and what i could say is like developers are most of the time confused about like which is the best chain to build on or what tools to use and and going into all the different kinds of technical complexities where maybe as an initial developer or maybe like a starting uh, entrepreneur or a founder the most important thing could be about the product experience right so like i mean you are a developer but you are starting a project so maybe you should 
instead of focusing much about which chain is great, which tools are great, maybe I think you should be focused more on what product is great and what problem I'm trying to solve, right? And when, when we talk about chain, I mean, like, you can always use Horizon and there's other EVM chains as well. And when you're thinking about the tool, you state them. I would, I would like shamelessly promote us because we some support not just like one chain, we support all the chains. So let's say if you are a big project already on some other chain, expand to Horizon. I mean, it won't take anything else if you're using Tatum, right? You're using Tatum and then adding a new chain is basically like one line of code. So these things are quite simple with these dev toolings and stuff. So as a developer, we should not try to like, overcomplicated by building everything from scratch and doing all that instead focus more on the user experience i mean like what you're trying to build for the user what it should achieve for the user that should be much clearer i mean if people focus on this then i think we are going to take web3 global much more faster than we are expecting as well yeah yeah no i agree i agree and you know if i were i'm no developer but i certainly work with a lot of them and it's it's always about this like creative process and and also about you're so right like in the sense that you can there's a lot of tools and options out there but like you said okay what's my end goal with this what's the product exactly. that i'm trying to build and then at the end of the day you get to choose which tools work better for you exactly. um how can how can folks, people, the community, even developers, like let's say, connect with you and Tatum uh, community? Yeah, so we we do have our Tatum community. Like anyone who is interested to join in, you can go to Tatum IO, which is our main landing page. You would find the Discord links right there. And if you're a developer, let's say, who wants to first build with our SDK and wants to get started building, let's say on here on Eon as well. I mean, for you guys, there's there's nothing that you would need to do. You can basically write npm install at datamio slash datam and install our SDK. You don't even need to sign up with Tatum. You don't even need to do anything. Like you just install the library and then you can start developing with Tatum. You can start developing on Eon as well. So if, if you're looking to build first and then get in, involved in the community, maybe maybe do some op open source efforts as well with our new Tatum extensions, which you can learn more about in the community. I mean, like you can just install the SDK. But if you would first like to interact with people, know more about the space, maybe if you have an idea, but you're really not sure where to start with, join our community. It should be on tatum.io. Amazing, amazing. Like I said, um, I think it's, you can tell that you're very passionate about what is it that you're doing. And also, as you said, coming from a developer perspective, but also thinking about products exactly. and, and more like in a holistic way. Right. So if, if I'm interested or if I was one of the viewers out there, I'll definitely reach out. I'll definitely get involved. It's always about that. We always get, let's say, uh, excited about something. And then we start like our journey, learning, researching, getting involved. And then the rest is history, like literally like exactly. um, getting involved in this world. There's still a lot of, uh, let's say, misconceptions about Web3 and like, oh, maybe you guys are not doing great or whatever. No, there are a lot of things happening and there are a lot of people just building exciting things and we're in this constant, let's say, process of just doing and figuring things out and creating new products, experimenting, a trial and error, right? So I, I would encourage everyone that's like listening right now to just get involved, uh, check out the website, as, as she was mentioning, um, Tatum.io, Horizon.io, just go and check it out, get involved, Discord, Twitter, ask questions. And then that's sure. it. I believe it's not, it's not, um, let's say there's always a before and after, as we were saying uh, before starting the the call. Uh, Sheep, is there anything else that you would like to share with the Verizon community? No. So maybe I would just expand on uh, one of the extensions point that I shared in the last, uh, in the last answer of mine. So if let's say if you're a developer and you're really not sure where to start with, you are an experienced web to developer, but you don't really have an idea where what, what to build. Or maybe if you're looking to start your entrepreneurial journey and you're experimenting with the ideas, maybe what I would suggest is one good idea is one good path is to start building with anything at least. So maybe let's say if you don't even have an idea, get into uh, Tatum's community, start building some extensions. Extensions are basically libraries built on top of Tatum libraries, right? So you can probably build some, uh, let's say, extension for developers building on Eon as well. And maybe I'm quite sure Eon will support you with some uh, grants and uh, stuff as well if, if you're doing that. So start with that stuff and it will help you to understand the community better. It will help you to understand how things work in this Web3 world better. And then you can start your own uh, developmental uh, journey in the space as well so i mean maybe i'll just add that and yeah one more last thing could be is like 
this is the best time to build in. I mean, like we are in the bear market. You should not be worried about the markets and all that stuff, right? Like you can start building now. And if if you start building now and you have a good product that is loved by maybe even fraction of the people that we have in the web three space and the bull market will have a lot more bigger markets uh like addressable market as well so i think this is the best time for anyone to start building and horizon and tatum could be a good way to start building as well absolutely absolutely couldn't agree more um and yeah i i, I totally agree this is a, the right time maybe it's always the right time but it's it's also like like you said it's about getting out there like it just try it out ask questions i i've seen in this industry some some folks are very intimidated by the whole like let's say concepts and ideas and and everything like that i and i mean of course there, there's gonna there's gonna be a learning curve and at the beginning it's like wow like what is this like maybe some terms or terminology that folks are not very familiar with but after like a, a few, after a few months or after a few weeks just really start getting an idea on how is it that things are working and and then again we're going through this let's say phase where we are still uh like i said adapting and really uh paying attention as to like what is needed how can we best provide let's say a good experience to people to end users to gamers to developers so then again if you're a developer let like uh, she was mentioning just get involved reach out and i think uh we can we can just go from there exactly. um all right so i think our our, our time is up she thank you so much for joining us today uh, like I was saying, we are super excited to be launching Eon and this series of interviews. Thank you so much for uh, to Tatum, to the Tatum team. We've been working um, wonderfully with you guys. We're so glad to have you on board. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for watching and listening. And we'll see each other around. Thank you for having us in. Absolutely. Yeah. Bye. Thank you for joining us on Beyond the Horizon. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes as we continue to discover the limitless potential of the Horizon ecosystem. If you liked this episode, make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time.